Well, hey guys and gals, it's Hex here. And today on how to build in Minecraft, we are working on this modern office-y building, skyscrapery something. It's like a tall office building, maybe. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, last time we built kind of the front and the facade and this right side of it. Today we're going to hopefully finish off the back and maybe this side and maybe even get into some other parts of it. So we'll see how far we get. But for now, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about dealing with this back section right here. And what I like about it is I like how I like how it's open like this and then we could probably put in like some, um, I don't know, we could put like glass panes in here this be very like glassy and open but what I don't like about it is the bottom looks unsupported so what I think we're gonna do is I think we're gonna start down here right on this corner and we're gonna bring this down all the way to the ground like that and then I think we're gonna make it three blocks wide there and three here like that think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to bring this here. And do 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 ba da da ba da. La 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 la. La la la. Da 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 da. And I could use my bling edit tool on this, I suppose, but I am in the mood to have the shaders on. So there we go. All right. Well, that's something, isn't it? That is quite something. I like that so far. That's that's pretty good so far. All right, then what I want to do is this is like the back side of this store down here. So we definitely, definitely, definitely want to create um, this kind of a thing. You know what we need? This needs to be two blocks thick, like that. There we go. That's, that looks pretty good. Uh-huh. Okay, all right. Getting, get, we're getting there. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> In case you guys were unsure, if Hex knew what he was doing or not, um, he doesn't. So, just in case you wanted to know. That is too low, so we're going to go back up like this. Like that. And by the way, I'm using the Project Luma shaders. They've been working pretty well, and I think they work really well in dark, dark spaces. Like, a lot of shaders, honestly, they're too dark when you get into like um, a cave or an indoor space. A lot of them are too dark, including uh, my favorite chocolate pick. So I've been kind of testing out the Project Luma as some scary noise occurs. There we go. I don't know, there's probably a command to turn off the scary noises, but I don't care. I kind of like them. It reminds me I'm playing Minecraft. Mm, still not loving this. We did that. Okay. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe, maybe so. This definitely needs to be glass right here. Don't you guys think? Of course you do. You think exactly what I think because you are. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. Be careful what you watch, because what you watch becomes what you think. I don't know if that's really even true. I don't think that's true. And then that would mean that we have to bring this out by a block to get that to work. Okay. That's pretty cool so far. That's pretty cool. Um, I think what we need to do is make like one of these rectangle deals. Let's make it five blocks out. And 
like that so that it's kind of similar to the front where we have like these these rectangle pieces that are just sort of blocking the windows for like no reason <laughs> uh yeah i think if we put a couple of those in that it's gonna look better maybe there's one right here maybe there's one right there there we go i feel like bob ross sometimes when i'm like maybe there maybe maybe there's just a happy little tree here <laughs> Okay, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five. So if we come this way, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Does that kind of mess with the aesthetic I was going for? It totally does. It totally messes with my aesthetic. But that's okay. How tall should we make it? Taller. <laughs> Let's make it taller, you guys. <laughs> there we are, like that. And let your eye be the judge. Needs to be taller. Let your eye be the judge. That way, when you're building, things become your style. Like, you should definitely learn from someone like myself who's been building for a long time and like has like a general idea of how to set things out and make them look good. Um, I guess. If you're watching this channel, hopefully you think that. <laughs> but, yeah, that looks cool. But, like, at the same time, you also need to create sort of your own, like, decision base. You know what I mean? Like, don't just go 100% based on what Hex likes, you gotta go on what you like as well. And I think that that's how you start to create your own style, is you sort of learn from people that you like their style, and then you sort of start to adapt your own eye to it. And then it's really helpful, like for me to go on um, and look at look at architecture that other people have done, and see things that I that I like, and, and I save them <laughs> to my, to my Pinterest or my Instagram. I just save like, oh, that's cool, and that's cool, and that's cool, and that's cool. And I probably build like a uh, one hundredth of what I actually save or use it as like um, inspiration, I guess. Some things I try to build like exactly the same, but some things I use like as inspiration. So that restaurant over there that we did last time, that that's pretty close to the inspiration picture that I had. This thing here, the front, is very close to the inspiration picture that I had, but this back and sides, totally different. Totally different. Um, and also, the picture that I had for inspiration was, um, it didn't include like a, what do you want to call those things? A store. It was like a garage or something. So like this was someone's like big house, I guess. We could have made it a single house, but I decided to go and create an, a lovely um, office building out of it. This is looking good. This is looking really good. So basically this one here is one, how many blocks wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. And it goes all the way to the top and starts at the side there. And then it comes down one, two, three, just, just one block below like the third floor from the top. And these floors, by the way, are all five blocks apart, and it just so happened, and I forgot to mention this in the previous video, that the roof, exactly where I wanted the roof, was exactly the right height for all the blocks. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I like that. Okay. Now we're going to fill all this in with some glassy glass. Glassy, glassy glass. You know, I think modern builds have quite a bit of glass in them, because... Glass was relatively expensive, expensive like in, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? Like the Victorian age even, um, the medieval period, it definitely was very expensive. Late medieval, early renaissance, probably pretty expensive. So windows tended to be somewhat smaller, but now glass is a lot less expensive. It's still pretty pricey to put windows in places, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. And by used to be, I mean like hundreds of years ago. 
Plus also like the technology's gotten better, so they're a little bit more insulated. So another problem with glass is if you have like a lot of glass and it's single pane or whatever, um, or even double pane, like you can lose quite a bit of energy out of it. So it's not that energy efficient, but if you use it in the right places, in the right amounts, it can become more energy efficient. Okay, check that out. That, <laughs> I like that. I really like this right here. I really like glass on a corner for some reason. I don't know what it is about glass on a corner, but it always just adds that, I don't know, it just adds a little zest to something. Some sparkle, maybe, sparkle. Adds a bit of sparkle. You gots to have some sparkle. All right, there we go. That's good. I'll probably end up filling some things in from the inside, but this is looking good right now. It's looking very good. And I was kind of thinking of putting on the inside maybe like some doctor's offices, like lawyer's offices, something where it's like the space doesn't need to be that big, but it still needs to, you know, have enough space to exist, I guess. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. But like a, you could fit a, like a lawyer's office into one of these floors easily or like an accountant's office maybe. Um, you could fit in like a real estate office maybe. People who do some real estate. Let's cut that out right there. And oh, that's too far out. No wonder. What am I doing? What am I doing? Y'all, what, what, what am I doing? Y'all. It really bothers me when people say y'all like I just did and they're not actually from like a state or a place that says that. Like I'm not from Texas, okay? I live in California and I'm a yuppie. Well, maybe I'm not a yuppie, but I, I don't know. But like I certainly do not say y'all and we don't say y'all around here very often. But when people say y'all... I don't know. I went off on some weird tangent. I'll stop. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think we have like a completed exterior front, side, and back. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's really funny is that this block right here is so much bigger than this block, but it totally works. And I don't really know why. I don't know why. Like I said, you just have to follow your eye. Follow your eye. That my friends, your eye, your eye knows what it's supposed to look like. And I think that part of the creative process, at least for me, is learning to trust my inner eye, if you will. <laughs> um, trust sort of like my instincts on things. Because I tend to get myself in trouble when I don't trust my own instincts and not, not in trouble, but like, what do you want to say? I, I tend, things don't tend to look as good when I try to be like, well, so-and-so wouldn't do this, you know, good times with scar wouldn't do it that way or green wouldn't do it that way. Lord Dacker wouldn't do it that way. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. I think that it should be what it is, what I make it. Okay. Um, but of course it took a while of me like copying some of those guys, N not copying them, like stealing their work, but like, you know, in my own like Minecraft worlds and stuff, like, you know, building one of their builds. That's kind of interesting. What I wanted to do was kind of break up this big wall of um, whatever this stuff is. What's it called? Dark oak planks. That's what it's called. So what I think I'm going to do is put in just a few windows in it. Here and there's these. Like that. Mm, do we want one more? Yeah, we want one more. Like that. I might have to decide, like what windows I want 
in here like from the inside, if that makes sense. But there we go. I don't even know if I like that. You know what? <laughs> it's weird, but I don't. I almost want this side to be entirely solid, which usually to me like looks so bad to just do like a giant wall of planks. Like usually, like I can't stand it when I see that. When I do it, it seems like amateurish to me, but you gotta trust your eye, right? So uh, that is exactly an example of what I was talking about that I, I, I don't think that, you know, I think that um, from like a general building principles in Minecraft, like you shouldn't do like a giant wall of all the same block. But sometimes in modern, you can get away with it. If it's the right block and the right context. And you have to use your eye to determine whether or not you want that giant block. Because what it looks like to me is it looks like the major structure of the build. And if I mess with it, it looks like I'm kind of messing up the, the structure somehow. Yeah. I don't know. Definitely like a tree would help. <laughs> a big old tree would definitely help that area. Okay. Uh, next what we want to do, I want to figure out like what I want to use for like um, ground, if that makes sense. So we need to look for some blocks here. We need to go block hunting. We could use some diorite. I mean, andesite blocks. Um, let's see. I've got kind of a strange feeling that I want to use some birch wood. So I'm going to bring that out just to see if that might be something. Um, sandstone, I'm not feeling. Let's see. I'm not really feeling any of the terracotta blocks here. Maybe this light gray one. No, that's not going to work. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Hunting for blocks with hex. The gray concrete powder is a possibility. So is the light gray concrete. So is just like more um, of the, of these things. What are these called? The smooth stone. Okay. Let's go with the weirdest idea first. We're going to go with the weirdest idea first. So This is the weirdest idea. Man, I kind of like that. <laughs> it seems weird though. All right, let's try this. It's not bad. Let's go with some of the gray concrete powder. Now, no, I'm just not feeling that. The regular gray concrete. What do you guys think about that one? Huh. Um, what about the, the darker gray concrete? I've got the gray wool. That's the one. I know I use this a lot, but there's a reason I use it a lot. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I was kind of thinking of having another entrance back here. And it comes like this, and then like that. There we go. Okay. And then our street is actually going to be well, like right here, it's 
going to be right here. So we're going to bring this out, I think, to the street. Or maybe I should bring this whole thing out a little ways. Mm, how bad would that look? Yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. I don't think that's the way to go. We could go with like a garage under there. That might be something. All right, so let, let, let's do this. Let's, uh, we've got three blocks here. So that's basically our sidewalk, right? Wait. Yeah, that's going to be basically our sidewalk. I, th I think that that's going to, that's going to be fine. So pretty much this building right here defines the entire city. <laughs> it's not really what I meant to do, but it's what's happening. So that means that here, we could build, how long, how wide is one of these lanes? Let's see. This lane is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wide? That's right, it's ten. Okay, so how wide is this then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There we go. Okay. And then we're just gonna like dig this out. I need my I need some bling edit. I need my bling edit. Okay. No, we have to turn off the shaders first. Shaders off. There we go. Okay. And then done. And shader. No. Done. Back to game. There we go. Okay, bring this down like this. So what I'm going to do is build like this. Um, eight by eight hole like that. Okay, and then it's going to go down relatively quickly. into this like garage area. So I think what we need is this right here. And then maybe, I don't know. I might replace this color, but I feel like this is gonna do it. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to like go down pretty steep. So I want to like bling at it this out right here. You know, what? I think I'm just going to make the hole like what I want it to be. Like just go down. There we go. And then we're just going to go delete. There we are. Okay. That's good. And then we're going to take and go here. What do we find water or something? That's interesting. Uh, we're going to go here like this, and then we're going to bring this down like that and delete. Okay. How tall is this? One, two, three, four, five. I guess five is good enough for like a garage. Mm, maybe let's go six deep. Uh, so that means we need to take this two more blocks down. So basically this one and that one. There we go. Okay, what I'm trying to do is make like an underground parking garage if that's not um, obvious. So it might not have been obvious because I wasn't really talking too much. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit too deep. So um, yeah, we're going to go with this black concrete. Do we want the black or do we want like this gray concrete? I think we're going to go gray concrete powder like this 
all the way in here. We just have to be careful about <laughs> exposing it to water, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then now we just need to like dig this hole underneath here. So we're gonna go there and then down and then I can't push it back too far. But there we go. Okay. Yeah, but we need we need um we need like this to be like that or something. We need this to be that. <laughs> Okay, across here, and then we're going to go fill, set block, um, let's see, light, gray, no, concrete, powder, without the N, there we go, no, <laughs> not the powder. <laughs> that was funny. Seb. Uh, let's see. Light gray. Oh, I forgot. Underscores. Concrete. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. All right, everybody. That's better. That's good, actually. And the con light gray concrete powder is actually kind of the right... I'm just gonna leave that for now. There we go. Okay. And then we just need to make like a big old fat hole underneath here. So um how are we gonna do that? Just gonna come here and like that. And I just need like this whole thing to be a big old fat hole. There we go. Yeah, and make it bigger. <laughs> bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's big enough. I think. I think, I think, I think. Okay. And then we're going to do this, like we're going to fill this whole thing full of... Uh, light gray concrete powder. Fill. Set block. Ah! Light gray concrete powder. Bam! Got it. Okay. That is really good. And then in the ceiling, we're going to put um, this light gray concrete I think is the way to go like this. Okay. And over here, I might expand this a little bit bigger. Um, let's see, fill Set block. Light, gray, concrete, there we go, okay. Yeah, that looks like an under the ground garage to me. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we need to get out our smooth stone slabs. So, smooth stone slabs. And then we're gonna come and we're gonna go like this, and like that, and then like that that like that and like that and like that and like that uh, and like this and like that and like this okay which means that this hole needs to be a little bit further back and stuff but that's the general idea that basically the cars are going to come and then they would drive like and then come down here and they make that noise and then they come down here and but that's the general idea 
We'll have to finish this next episode because we are out of time for this one. And I'm trying to keep these to 30 minutes or less. Like 20, 25, 30 minutes. So depending on what we've done. But yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. I think I brought it back a little bit too far. So we're going to go like, um, you know, I think I just want to do this light gray stuff. I think we're going to bring this right here. Actually, that's not, that's not bad, actually. But I think we want it to come right there. And then be too wide. Like that. There we go. And then like that. And then this in. There we go. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Oops. So I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm trying to get to like a certain stopping point. Yeah, that's good, man. So then, like, yeah, you'll be able to come down here and park, and then um, that's where you will park. It's down there. <laughs> that's going to be perfect. And then over here, we're going to do, like, kind of like a little park area, and then we have room for, like, another build over here. I think that's going to work just fine. Just fine. And this, this building looks awesome. We still need to do the interior, finish out the exterior and stuff, but I'm really pleased with the progress that we've made on this thing. I think it looks great. Let's turn the shaders back on. Oh, yes. It's looking good. It's looking good. I don't think we have a thumbnail yet, though. Well, guys and gals, I hope you've enjoyed watching me build this beautiful, beautiful modern office building slash store. And I hope that you are having an amazing day. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I appreciate that very much. Trying to grow the old channel so that we have more subscribers and and stuff like that, and so that more people know about how to build in Minecraft and how to build other stuff. And also, it's just a lot of fun to see um, people subscribe and liking the videos and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, before I digress too far, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful day, and God bless. <laughs>